Hello there, I am Dranko with my Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we took on the water routes north of uh, Cinnabar Island, and we also took on the water route uh, east of uh, Cinnabar Island. I'll put the two route numbers on screen right now because I can't remember off the top of my head. We also survived our dumb fossil and took a Buto at the Pokemon lab down there. So, yeah. So, now we take on the uh, the Pokemon Mansion. We learned that the door for the gym is locked, so yeah, we have to go. To go through the, to advance in the game, all you have to do is take on the Pokemon Mansion and get the key, the key to unlock the gym yourself, really. Um, it's, the Pokemon Mansion has a lot of Fire-type Pokemon, so I guess it wouldn't be the best choice. So let's go to Gamera, I guess. Or, I didn't mean to go to Grumpy, dang it. I meant to go to Gamera. There we go, nice. I kind of clicked too fast. So yeah, let's go in the Pokemon Mansion. Also, there's, um, also, there's a lot of Pokemon, but, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll have to run into one because I'm choosing to use repels really. So, uh, yeah, I also bought 15, rep 15, more, rep 15 more repels. I had 10 and now I, I bought 15 at Lavender. 15 more super repels at Lavender. In Lavender Town at the Pokemon and I got 25 now. So that's awesome. Let's use a repel. So, uh, I think my Pokemon should be able to repel all the, um, my Pokemon in here. I mean, Gamma's like level 48, right? So, it'll, so it should it should repel Pokemon that's at level 47 or below. I don't think the Pokemon in here are 47 actually. So let's get a guess so we don't know when into one of all counters. We got another escape rope, awesome. I've never had to buy a single escape rope this whole playthrough because they give you so many escape ropes, you know. If you play your cards right, you'll actually be able to um, not have to really buy escape ropes like I am during this playthrough. Okay, that's blocked off. That's actually the exit. So yeah. Kind of went running around in circles for nothing really. <laughs> I remember as a kid, I could never beat the, I can never figure out the puzzle in a Pokemon Mansion, but now that I know how, how to get through it and everything, it's like easy as pie. <laughs> but you can switch, uh, the secret, it's a secret switch, press it, of course. But that'll have actually open the gates, um, that are blocking rooms or doors or areas, so that's pretty cool. So he was blocking this room, I think, but there's only two beds in here that you can't sleep in, so that's kind of a bust. I don't think there's really anything on this first floor, so let's move on to the second floor, really. Unless the switch messed with the, anything on the second floor, or whatever. Let's put another pill on. Okay, yeah. So here's another switch, okay, I think there's a burglar in here, that, that's the bug. that's the type of a uh, trainer, yeah. I can't get out this whole place, this is a big puzzle. It's not that hard, the steps are right there on it, so I have to do is go down the steps, then you're basically going on the main floor, and then you can just go out the front door, that's all you have to do, burglar. Jeez, he has a Charmander, okay, cool. Let's go for the Bubble Beam. This Charmander is level 34, nice. Let's see, this Bubble Beam takes it, I want it awesome, because it's super effective, yay. Okay, so now he's a Charmeleon. It's a little bit harder, but hopefully we can take it out of the bubble. This Charmeleon is also level 34, nice. Bulb I'm not, when I said bubble, I meant bubble beam, sorry. Yeah, so we defeated Burger, awesome, cool. Oh no, my bag of loot. <laughs> Thanks for the 3060 bucket always, man. Really appreciate it. Okay, and I think we have to push that switch on the, um... To the far left of the room, but I'll have to get this. I want to get this item first of this. I'm back here. Yeah, there is. It should be an item. Yeah, it's a calcium. Nice. Let's give that to random Pokemon. Let's give it to Tabasco. I think it'll raise a special attack, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm just pure guessing that right now. I still haven't figured out what vitamin raises what stat. Yeah, okay. So Tabasco special rose. Special. Okay, I said special attack. I meant special. Because special attack and special defense are combined in this game. And they, back then it was just special. One stat, not two separate stats. So yeah, cool. Good choice on that, because uh, flamethrower and all that good stuff is a special move, of course. So nice. Is there anything up here? I don't think there is. And then there's one other spot I want to check on this floor that I haven't got to yet. I think there, is there an item here? I don't think there is. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, diary, July 10th, or July 10, I guess for the 10th of July. We Christians, we Christianed the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Cool, it's like a little captain's log or diary, whatever. Journal entry, whatever, I don't, I, you know, whatever you want to call it. Let's go on to the next floor real quick, and there's actually a trainer we can fight. This place is like huge. Yes, it is. Nice. 
So it's another Burgoyah, cool. Let's see, it's one Pokemon. It's a Ninetales, cool. It's level 38, nice. It's ten, with 10 levels higher than that, so that's pretty cool. Let's go for the Surf Attack. Let's see here. And you'll be uh, defeated, nice, cool. We killed, we, uh, we killed it. We, we fainted in one hit, awesome, good. We knocked it out in one hit, awesome. I, uh, thanks for the 3,420 Poké Dollars. Is there an item back in here? I don't think there's. This is another diary or whatever, but. Yeah, there's an item, cool. Let's grab it. Ah, another Pulse Fractal Waft, of course. Let's go further than another, uh, Super Pulse. Let's put in the Super Pulse. Nice, okay. And this is a Max Potion, cool. Do I even have a, spa my, a space for Max Potions, or just. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna put the max potion on my PC when I get the chance, really. Because I don't really need it if I have hyper potions and stuff. That's just me, though. What's a. Yeah, let's see. A secret switch. Press it? Yes, of course. That'll get rid of the gate that was blocking the, this room over here. So, yeah, but also close uh, that gate. So, make sure you explore that gate first before you press the switch. Unless you wanna have to press the switch again to, you know, undo what you just did to make uh, a little bit. More time consuming, I guess you could say. Yeah, okay, now, I think this is on the top floor now. So, uh, before I switch, press that switch on that statue, I'm gonna go over here and get this item. Because I think it'll be blocked off if I press the switch. And iron, that raises a defense, I believe. So, let's give that to, uh, Pikachu, or not Tabasco. Or not Tabasco, but Storm. <laughs> there it goes, Special Storm's defense, it was awesome. I was right about that vitamin for once. Iron raises defense, nice. And, I think, uh, yeah, we have to press the switch on that statue. Okay, cool. A secret switch, press it? Yes, of course. Who wouldn't? Yeah, box off that room, because that's why we want to get the iron first. Here's a scientist. Uh, my mentor once lived here. That's pretty cool, except for the Pokemon Mantra's kind of spooky, you know? <laughs> here's another here's a scientist. Okay, he has two Pokemon. One's a Magnemite. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, strength on this thing. Yeah, let's use strength on this thing. This Magnemite's level 33, we're 15 levels higher than it, and strength when it kills it, awesome. Okay, another oh, Magneton. Okay, let's use Surf on this thing, even though. Well, let's just strength and see how much it does, because I don't know if Surf will be. It'll probably be not very effective or something like that. Okay, sorry for that interruption. That was a critical cool on us, I guess. So let's go for the strength then to finish it off. This should finish it off at least. There we go, critical cool awesome. So yeah. One more Pokemon. He has a Voltorb. Okay, cool. I'm gonna use strength on this Voltorb too. This Voltorb is level 33. Nice. We're 15 levels higher than it. So that's good. And there we go. Nice. Okay, my record level, four, uh, level 49. Awesome. You feel scientists, cool. Phew, overwhelming. <laughs> Thanks for 1,650 Poké Dollars, man. Oh, we can go to other steps if we want, nice. Um, let's see here, let's switch camera with... I guess the Lavender, why not, yeah. Is that item here somewhere, it's like hidden? Oh man, I, I guess there's a hit item here, but I just can't find it. Pulse effect off, okay fine. Put another repel on then. Oh well, I guess there's a hit item here, but maybe, possibly, but I don't really want to go for it. I think that you want to step down on the second one right here. Oh wait, no, hold on. Nope, I messed that up. Dang it! Okay. Oh, that was an epic fail. Yeah, we're gonna press the secret switch. Yay! Haha. <laughs> okay, and then we wanna press the secret switch here. So I kinda had to do part of the puzzle I just saw right there, but that's okay. I think with the, it's one of these two, it's like, I don't, I think it ma doesn't really matter for those two little areas, because you'll land in a similar spot, I guess. Here's another scientist. So let's talk to him, battle him, I guess you could say. Who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. Well, why are you here then? That's kind of skeptical on your part, I guess you could say. Here's another scientist, he has two Pokemon, cool. He has an Electrode, okay. 
It's just earthquake at last one trode. It's gonna be super effective, so it's awesome. Let's go for the earthquake then. Yeah, it's only level 29 too, so that's awesome. There we go, it goes down one hit. Awesome, nice. And he has a wheezing. Okay, let's use earthquake on that too. Because poisons types are weak against ground type moves. So that's good. There we go. This wheezing is level 29, just like the electrode. Nice, and then 1k, awesome, I'll take it. We defeated scientist, awesome. Ouch, thanks for 1,450 pocket dollars though. Okay. We found Carbos. Okay, I forget what that one raises actually. We've only had several car at least three Carbos in this game. Now we could exit the uh, Pokemon Mansion or we could go down to the very basement. Let's go down to the very basement first. Nice, okay. Yeah. Let's go, let's see. Repels effect or finally it's not a repel then. I know it puts you back to the top of the bag, even if you just use like an item on the bottom of your bag like a super repel. Okay, so like Harbos. Let's give that to Brute Root. Brute Root speeds Rose, that's good, because Brute Root does need speed. Awesome, Carbos raises speed. Okay, cool. There's another trainer right here. Let's take you on. Oh, where am I now? You're in the basement of the Pokemon Mansion, silly. Yeah, nice. But Glow wants to fight, awesome. Let's get some growth, okay. Yeah, I got Earthquake on this thing, haha. <laughs> Let's go for the Earthquake. Nice. Could have got our ticket, nice. Go on, this is not Ponyta, okay, cool. Let's go for the Earthquake again, or a Earthquake, I should say. This one does level f f 34. Nice, okay, there goes the Ponita. We defeated Burglar, awesome. Ouch! Uh, I, didn't, I don't think I pronounced that word right that he said. His piece of, his dialogue at least. Um, thanks for the 3060 pocket dollars. Here's another item. It's TM14, what's that exactly? Is it Solar Beam or something? I don't know, Solar Beam's like later on, like, sitting on a table in the Pokemon Mansion, probably. Okay, it contains Blizzard, okay, yeah, I won't be. Teaching Blizzard in my Pokemon, really. So, yeah. Let's go over here then. Here's another item. It is a uh, full restore. Awesome. Very worth picking up. And now we can actually press that switch on that statue because that'll uh, close. It'll open this gate, but uh, close the current one or something like that. It'll open the one we need, I think. So, let's go for that. Yeah, who wouldn't press the secret switch? Yeah, that, it opens this gate, but closes that gate, but then it'll actually open the one we need to get to where the basement key, or the gym waiter's key is, for the gym. See, it opens this gate, or this pathway, so it's awesome. Here is a tra here's a scientist, so if you're not ready, he'll actually see you from off screen, and fire it in the screen, and like come up to you, and stuff. Yeah, let's keep having it just for I guess. This place is ideal for a lab. Yes, it is, that's very true. Okay, a scientist. Okay, he has uh, two Pokemon. Cool. One's a Magnemite. Nice. You know, since I have so many earthquakes left over, I have self six. So yeah, I'm gonna just use the earthquake and make myself e make my life easy, I guess. Because this is gonna be super effective on this level 34 Magnemite. Nice. One K, awesome. It's super effective. I know it is. That's why I used it. And then he has a Magneton. Probably another elect electrode. Okay, fine. This electro is level 34, let's use earthquake on this thing. There we go, it hits, and it one KOs it, awesome, nice. I'll take it. I have a new good level 49, awesome. We feed scientists, cool. Uh, what was that for? I just need, well, if I was gonna lose, you were gonna make me go back to the Pokemon Center and stuff. Jeez, thanks for the $1,700 dollars. At least when you lose, you don't have to go back to the Pokemon Center. So yeah, let's switch uh, Lavender with Gamera, I guess. No, let's switch with Grumpy, because Gamera's also level 49, yeah. Let's switch with Grumpy, yeah. Nice. Here is a uh, bed, I think a nice thing. Before we press that switch on this statue, I'm going to go over here and get this item right here. Which is a rare candy, awesome. So we have like 9 rare candies, right? How many rare candies do we have? We have, uh, 
We have nine, of course. Nice, awesome. Okay, now we can press that switch on the statue. The puzzle vector off, of course it did. Okay, a secret switch. Press it. Yes, of course. Who wouldn't? <laughs> I think that statue, that Pokemon on top of there is supposed to be like Mewtwo or something, you know? Here's the team for Solar Beam, I believe. Yeah, Team 22. We can actually teach that to uh, Brute Brute. Yeah, it contains Solar Beam. Teach Solar Beam to Pokemon. Let's give it to Brute Brute. Brute was trying to win Solar Beam, but, I can't, but we can't win more than four, mo four moves. Do we know the move to move for Solar Beam? Yes. Okay, which move should be forgotten? Let's give it a Tackle. Yeah, let's give it a Tackle. We don't need Tackle anymore, hopefully. <laughs> okay, we forgot Tackle and Brute Root and Solar Beam, awesome. And then right here is a, um, secret key. I think we can, can we use an escape rope to get out of here? Because the secret key is all we can, the last thing we came in for, really. Um, to get done with the gym. Can we use an escape rope here? Yeah, we can, awesome. Oh, brings us to Lavender Town, though. Okay. Because that Pokemon is in the last world, I guess. So, uh... It's, uh... As I'm looking through all my movesets for my Pokemon, this is the final moveset for, uh... This is the final moveset for, uh, Grumpy. Besides being tossed, Thunderbolt, Body Slam, Low Kick. And for Tabasco... Wait, sorry, I meant to go to stats. Not fly yet. Uh... It's gonna be flamethrower, ember slash fly. Except for um, I'm gonna we get fire blast the team for fire blast from Blaine, which is the gym leader we're going to next. <laughs> so I'm gonna get I'm gonna replace fire blast with em ember with fire blast. For brute rear, I think his final move sets already, you know, in line. Mega drain, razor leaf, vine up and solar beam. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's the final move set. Uh, lavender, we have the final move set for lavender. It's a uh, horn attack, double kick, earthquake, and thrash. For Gamera, I believe Gamera has its final move set. Um, Bubble Beam, Strength, Ice Beam, and Surf. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's gonna learn Hydro Pump at like level fifty or something. I put the level number level on screen right now. I think it's like level fifty six or something. Maybe it's that way. Sixty is like sixty one. I don't know. Depends on how. Far, uh, well, it might depend because I don't know if I want to turn Gamera up to like that high of a level for the Pokemon League. Cause that'd be too way too easy, you know. And then I have to raise everyone up to that certain level or something to make it even or equal, I guess. And then S Storm has its final moveset, I think. Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, Quick Attack, Thunderbolt, and Thunder. So the only Pokemon that are really waiting for their final moves, for their movesets, is Brute Root. Or not Brute Root, but, uh, but uh, Tabasco, who's gonna get rid of, I'm gonna get rid of Ember and replace it with Fire Boss, like I said. And then Gamma leveling up, which is Owen's oh, Hydro Pump. I'm probably gonna get rid of Bulba Beam for Hydro Pump. To make room for Hydro Pump. So that's basically all set in stone right there. So that's awesome how that played out. I, I was hoping it played out like this where it's easy for me to do all this. So yeah. Let's, I'm going to heal up at the Pokemon Center. So I'll see you guys in a second. And also I'm going to put um, some items in the PC too. I'll put uh, the TM14 Max Potion. And that's the only, the only two items I want to put in the PC. So yeah. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to take on the Cinnabar Island Gym, but that's not, that's in the next part actually. So let's read the sign. Cinnabar Island Pokemon Gym, Leader Blaine, the Hothead Quizmaster. Nice. So yes, that's been the end of my Pokemon Yellow Walks again part. Next part we'll take on the Cinnabar Island Gym, just like I said. And so we're going to probably get, we're hopefully going to get a 7 gym badge out of 8. Awesome. So this, this game's, this project's and this playthrough is coming to a close actually, which is kind of sad. But yeah. So yeah, this is the Tip and Draco again. I would like them to go by and hope to see you guys next part my Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough Guide.